Hi, my name is Dan Warner. Welcome to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about self-tape secrets and uh, more than just self-tape secrets, it's uh, something that actors are doing now and they're getting in the habit of doing now that it's going to be a trap and is going to hurt them down the road during their auditions. And that is Actors are becoming lazy. Listen, ever since the uh, pandemic, COVID happened, everyone is doing self-tapes. Self-tapes are the wave of the future, all through 2020, now into 2021. Even when things start to lighten up, we're gonna be doing more and more self-tapes. However, we will be going into the room soon. In fact, I have an audition tomorrow that's in the room audition. So here's the mistake that most actors are making. You don't want to become a 20 take wonder. Listen, I know it's easy to do. I've done it. And that is actors get lazy. They go, well, I'm just going to self tape. So they don't really rehearse. They just run the tape and they'll do it 10, 15, 20 times until they get it to where they want it. That's a huge mistake. Here's why. Because let's say things lighten up and you're used to doing 15 or 20 takes. And then all of a sudden they say, hey, we want you for an audition for the in the room audition. We want you for an in the room audition. So you go to an in the room audition for the last eight months. You've been doing 20 takes until you get it right. When you go in the room, you have one take. You get one shot at that, sometimes two, but most of the time just one. If it's a callback, they may give you two or three. So what's happening is we're getting lazy and we're getting in the habit of doing way more takes and our rehearsal process is just becoming we'll do it on tape until we get it right here's what we should be doing instead still do your rehearsal process uh, the way you should do it and i've always been um, a big advocate of putting yourself on tape during your rehearsal process so you can watch yourself back, so you can watch what you've done, so you can steal from yourself, take little um, tidbits of, of, uh, of activity, of sort of behavior. If you, if you do, like something you did with your fingernails, if you like something you did with your ear, steal those little nuances, steal those little pieces of behavior and use them in your take that you're going to submit to the casting people. But do all that in your rehearsal process. Also, to delineate between your rehearsal process and the tape that you're going to submit to casting, I recommend you rehearse in regular clothes. Let's say I'm supposed to be a businessman. I would rehearse in a t-shirt and shorts or jeans or whatever and do all my rehearsal process and get all my dialogue down, my character, everything I need to do. Then when it comes time to do my audition that I'm going to turn into casting, you pull down your seamless paper, you put up your paper, your mic, your lights, everything you need, and you do it one time or two times, but not five times or 10 times or 15 times. So what happens is you get used to rehearsing like you normally do, and then you dress in the wardrobe that fits your character to submit. Now listen, I'm not saying if you do one take and you go, ah, I, I screwed that up. I'm going to do one more. And you do one more and you go, well, that's two takes. That's all I'd get in the room. If you don't like those, do a third take. I'm not saying don't do that. What I'm saying is don't get in the habit of relying on the fact that no one's around. No one's watching. I can do this seven, eight, ten times. Because when things clear and you have a callback and you're used to doing it 20 times and you go in the room and there's the director and a producer, you better be ready. And if you've practiced just doing it once or twice, and I'm not saying just be a one and done actor, but I'm saying rehearse enough. Don't, don't do it until you get it right. Do it until you can't get it wrong. Rehearse until you can't get it wrong. Then dress in your wardrobe, do your audition, send that in. You'll be so much happier when you have an in-person audition or in the office audition because you're used to doing it the same way you did. Um, this whole self-tape thing is, is making us lazy. So stop doing that. It's, uh, it's not good. 
uh, and it's not good for the future for your career and it's not going to move your ball forward. So uh, don't be lazy. Don't be a 20 take wonder. Um, you know, just do it one or two times or three if you absolutely need to. But do all your rehearsal before. Treat it like a regular audition. If this was useful in any way, hit the like button down there. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I come to you every week with all these great tips and tutorials and information on auditioning and self-taping and on-camera confidence. If you have any questions about what we talked about, pop them down there in the question comment section. Leave me a comment, ask me a question. If you have a suggestion for a video, if you have questions about something you want me to address, I'm happy to do that. And uh, thanks for watching and, uh, you know, do your homework, be a good student and go kill it. That's, oh yeah, and I got shirts, huh? Dan Warner Media shirts. They're not for sale yet, but, you know, if you want one, let me know in the comment section.